Dial the tone. Uh, don't kill me. What's up, highway compadres? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan Stark. And today, the agenda is to drop by a really cool community garage in Milwaukee. It's relatively new and it's a really exciting development in the motorcycle scene. And we're gonna be able to go there and... We're gonna break my rusty chain. Uh, my chain is overdue for replacement. It's saggy, it's rusty, it's embarrassing. Everyone makes fun of me and it's probably gonna snap off one of these days. So <laughs> I bought a replacement chain a while back and hopefully we can get a bit of guidance on that because uh, we're gonna have to slice some stuff open. So the community garage is a really cool thing because we get to use their equipment and we get to um, work on our bike. So Dan is also doing something to his bike. He brought just his rear tire to go ahead and, oh, that guy just blowing his nose on the street. Um, <laughs> he brought his rear tight tire to replace that because it is also in a bad place and good bike maintenance is good bike safety. So I've got my cool little Danger Design Co. bag on my bike. It's a magnetic tank bag that's like specifically designed for supporting all your camera equipment. So I've got some of my stuff in there. So we're gonna make a cool little video. Other developments in gear and accessories is I'm wearing a super groovy, breathable riding hoodie. So I'm super hype about these. I'll give you guys a little bit more context on them and I've got some cool new uh, riding joggers or jogger style riding pants as well. So awesome things in my moto gear world and uh, maybe even in my Great Lake Supply Co. offerings world as well. So we're going to just dip down Brady Street real quick. It's a cool bohemian spot, um, iconic area on the east side. If you ever want to visit Milwaukee, I definitely recommend zipping down Brady Street. Also, we have Brady Beach, no sand, but all the uh, libations you can imagine. There's like all sorts of cool stuff cropping up new on Brady Street, so you just gotta check it out for yourself. I highly recommend it. But don't see anybody I know on here. I just like to cruise and see what's going on. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. to the garage and get the new tire on. Oh my god, god damn you freaking hot dog stand. <laughs> we're gonna go there. That's the one that we were hoping was there uh, during the 5th of July. Something always goes wrong. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta pay attention because I gotta figure out where I'm going for this community garage. <laughs> I like kind of know where I'm going. I've been here before but I don't totally totally remember. Gonna go pick up some of Megan and mine's favorite water. Oh, our favorite is gone. Yeah, we haven't chatted, you know, in the same way that we used to. Oops, that was neutral. <laughs> I wonder if there's an event. It's kind of a hole in the wall spot and this real estate is gonna become very valuable in the coming years. I mean, it's already <laughs> increased in value. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Yay! So cool. Warehouses. Miller's Bakery. What do you know? Down this alley. Known only. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. There's like a gym right there. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Anyways, down this alley. Oh no, the sign's down. <laughs> oh, there's Dan and his bike. There is his uh, big old tire. Am I supposed to jump through that or what? <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Hi there. Hello. Nice Hi. jacket. Thank you. It's an honored hoodie. Wow, um, is it really? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, what <laughs> you no one would guess it so it was an amazing one. Oh yeah, TV and remember. <laughs> That's my spot. That's my spot. God, look how ugly that is. That chain. <laughs> so happy to be here. <laughs> Okay, and then so you don't want that. And then we just like. Yep, and you're gonna roll it through, and once it gets through, we're gonna take it off and connect yours. Okay. All right. Cool. Nice and greasy. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I'm getting the gorilla pot a little greasy. I see. So. Oh, okay. I just did it the other way. Now it's better. Okay, so. Is that connected all the way? It's not like super on there. Should I? I mean, so, we don't want uh, it to be super on there. Because if that falls off. Yeah, it'll be like in the bike. Should I just tap it a little? Right, it Otherwise, we're, we're fucked. <laughs> All right. Now I gotta get it off. <laughs> Sponsored by Jelly Oh my god, wouldn't that be the dream? I know we need to get a water sponsor. We gotta get Liquid Death. I feel like Liquid Death would would play with us. But I want Topo Chico. <laughs> okay. That's all. It's actually all going so simple and fast. We'll deal with this later. <laughs> it's still hot. As you can see, it doesn't fit, right? Yeah. Need to do it. Tighten it, or oh, loosen this thing. Change the chain tension. Do so I do that? Your wheel forward. Okay. We loosen this first. Yeah. So you're gonna loosen the big nut, and we'll tighten the small one, and then you need to line it up with these.
Is it good to do it on the sprocket or should I reel this? Maybe I do need more slack. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, will we probably adjust once this is all together anyways? Yes. So now, oh. this Shit. goes on there. You might have to use the vice grip if you can't get it on. Oh, I see. It's the master link thing? It's the master link. So you can see how it's going to go through that hole and mm -hmm. then slide and clip into there. Oh, does it matter what direction? Do it that way. This way? Yeah. All right, do I need like a tool to push this on? You may, you may not. Oh, I don't want to break it now. Right. Is that going to get? I don't know. Ready? Yeah. Oop. Is that good? Oh, we just no. need a little more. Hold on. Okay. Down there. There you go. Nice job, baby. Yay! <laughs> we adjust and then we tighten. Okay. So now we're pulling it out. Oh, right. To get further away. going you should have counted me in uh, hey i'm kyle from create milwaukee moto collective uh in downtown milwaukee about a block from the fiserv we're milwaukee's first and only diy community collective motorcycle shop so it contains four spots that will allow you to work on your own bike tools provided machines provided chemicals oils everything is here in-house um, with a membership grants you a key card and come in 24 hours a day seven days a week you know the first stall not everybody needs a bike lift so our first stall is going to be just located on the ground for your simple washing your bike adjustments on handlebars things like that moving over to the second spot so it's a full rebuild on a honda cb 350 <laughs> full lift spot again full snap-on toolboxes snap-on provided bo tools and boxes to help fit the entire shop Still waiting on real benches coming in yet. And then even going as far as literature, we have accounts with Drake Specialties, Parts Unlimited, Tucker Rocky, Automatic Distributors, Tri-R, Spectro, so we can get deals on that all in-house as well. Copies of Iron and Air and manuals for most common bikes. Get this thing out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very large heater, so in the winter it's gonna be 150 degrees in here. And plenty of bike storage as well. So if you get a membership, it includes one bike free to store. Every additional bike's 40 bucks. But it does give you ability to work on both or all three or whatever you have stored. Full airlines throughout the shop, fully functioning for filling tires, blowers, tire machine, whatever pneumatic tools we may need. Um, we are fully equipped. If you're working on a project, store your Rubbermaids full of parts, store your unfinished you know, pieces, engines, whatever it may be. Moving on, more storage. Sadly, most of these are mine right now. Polishing wheels, grinders, kind of a whole fab area over here. It's all Milwaukee power tools. You know, vices, I said grinders, flap wheels, cutoff wheels, whatever you may need in a fabrication standpoint. So we're kind of set up to do a ground up fabrication build 
or something as simple as a restoration, kind of anything like that that you feel is in your skill level and it's not. We have people here that are willing to help train, assist. So if one guy is really good at wiring and somebody over here is really good at paint, you know, trade work back and forth or help each other. Welders in house, I said spectral oil on, on stock, ready to go. Lounge slash bar slash look at wire diagram area. Tire machine, balancer, kind of everything you need moto wise that keep your bike going. Awesome. So. Seems like that just about covers it. So nailed it. I guess how long have you been working on bikes and how long have you had this space for open to like the public? Or I guess the timeline of the space is yeah. interesting to me. So I've been mess with bikes, cars, motorcycles, or <laughs> bikes and motorcycles, bikes, cars, snowmobiles, okay. that whole deal most of my life, uh, between racing, building, customizing. The motorcycle stuff's probably been about eight to nine years. And then in space, I acquired this in October of 2019. Started working on it, a very good friend of mine gave me the space um, and let me build it as I wished. And that really worked out and kind of always been a dream after seeing other shops like Brother Moto and Skidmark and being very surprised it didn't exist in Milwaukee. Yeah, I think so. there's like a really big need for a hub because there's like all sorts of little sub communities, but if you don't already know people, you mm -hmm. don't know. So it's great if you came in here, this is the first time you came to Milwaukee, you could like come to this space and like instantly make friends. Yeah, exactly. It's a really nice touch. Yeah, it's me. Community is one of my biggest drives on this. And education it's, too, like really accessible education. Exactly. We have clinics. I've had tons of people offer to come in, you know, mm -hmm. uh, engineers from Harley, some other builders, fabricators. And even like members of the Lita's, things like that, come in and want to do classes, want to talk to, especially like ladies. I think we're pushed that a lot. I was about to say, huh? I feel like women are more inclined to do like a, a formal environment for classes and stuff. We just mm. like like to like learn a little bit differently. I think a lot of guys are willing to like ruin shit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and I think women just overall tend to be a little bit more careful so i think spaces like this are really great for that and then yeah maybe even women specific workshops that they just don't want that like that energy of being i don't know Ex talked down to potentially. exactly <laughs> exactly so yeah that's one of my big pushes overall i just don't want douchebags yeah I mean, that's, <laughs> I don't want good vibes in here. exactly and it's i'm not letting anybody walk in here necessarily if you come in here with a bad vibe if you come in here you know with a big ego this isn't the place for you. You know, it's an interview process of the members here and I'm keeping it that way to keep that positive vibe, that uplifting community building vibe. You know, nobody's any better than anybody else in here. Well, man, that's awesome. I mean, that first of all covers it to me. Thank you so much for yeah. like, uh, you know, having us come in relatively short notice and let oh. us work on some stuff. I mean, it, it happened pretty quick, so. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm that's... sure we'll come through the next time we have something to work on. This whole thing, 24 hours a day. Hell yeah. Yeah. There's a microphone in my beard. It's top secret shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wonder if like a little zoom helps you. <laughs> <laughs> you had a whole baby bird in there. Right? <laughs>